Hey guys, how's it going? It's Wolves again. So, in my last video, I was actually asked, uh, well, actually, not my last video, it was the video prior to that. I was actually asked if I uh, could make a video on installing two different mods, one being Achievement Enabler and the other being Natural Lutz. So, I'll be doing that in this video, as well as showing how to uh, install mods on the Vortex Mod Launcher as Vortex has added mod support for the Xbox Game Pass. And um, I will be showing an example on what I mean by it works. So as you see, I have gone ahead and made a profile and everything with Starfield. But what you would do is you would normally see something like this. You would then go to Games from games you're gonna just hit the search bar and type in starfield i've already installed it but it will be unmanaged you'll hit manage on it it'll ask you to install a profile it'll pop up with a window here hit install profile that will give you the access to go ahead and manage your starfield so <clears throat> once it pops up in the manage field here go ahead and hit these three dots and make sure that the path is somewhere within windows apps or in the folder that it's located for your game, whatever drive it's on, whether it be your C, D, E, um, wherever you have it located. And like in that video, I had it located on my on my E drive, I believe, or no, my D drive, I'm sorry. And uh, I just moved it over to my C drive a couple of days ago. But make sure that the game store says Xbox and everything. But once you do that, you'll just go in and it'll show, for instance, I'll go ahead and hit like, uh, it, you'll see something like this normally, and it'll be like install mods, X, Y, and Z. So at that point, you would go to, pull it up here. And I'm not going to install it via the mod launcher. Actually, I'll go ahead and do that just to show real quick on how to do so for the vortex so you'll come to the mod page here and you'll just hit download for vortex and of course if you slow download you'll just have to give it a second and then it starts to automatically download if it doesn't start to automatically download and it'll automatically install the mod as well i should go ahead and say that so let's yep it's installed perfect uh if it does not go directly to the launcher automatically like it did to mine, there should be a little window pop up here saying like launch or cancel. Just hit launch because it'll launch the Vortex mod launcher and it should automatically install. But for those wondering how to manually install it, um, so for instance, like the uh, Starfield achievement, let me bring that on over here. The achievement enabler here, it, there is not a Vortex mod launch download here. So in order to install this manually what we're gonna have to do is first things first we're gonna have to come over to this github page all the links for everything will be in the description you'll come to this github page and what you're going to do is you're going to look for two different files right so for instance on here i'll actually pull it up through here because it's a lot easier pulling it up this way uh games doop doop Doom. This way it pulls up the install. Okay, so in here you'll have one of two files, and it even says here, for some reason, I have the Steam version, but there is also an Xbox Game Pass version, as you can see here. What file you're going to be looking for is either dnput8.dll, or for in my case, it will be bink2w64.dll. Uh, bink what you'll then do is you'll go back to your game folder. And in a lot of times, like for what I had to do here, I'll just bring this off like this, that, like that. At this GitHub, you'll look for the DLL. So for instance, this is ours that we need. So we'll go ahead and I've already downloaded it. So here's my download folder. We'll just save over it. Yeah, sure. I'll just, I'll do it for the video. Okay. You'll drag that on over into your desktop for right this second, just because in here, Right, I've already renamed my file for hooked. You're not gonna have this file hooked. Your file should only have this bink 2 w 64 file. The other one should be on your desktop. The one that's in this folder, you're going to just simply go here, rename, and put hooked at the end, 
and hit enter. That's what I did with mine already. And then what you would do from there is just drag this in to right here. You'll hit replace. Yes. Okay. Once that's in there, that part of the uh, achievement enabler is done already. Now let's go ahead and get up the actual mod itself. So I believe I've already downloaded it before, but just for the video's sake, we'll re-download it again real quick. You'll take the star field and you'll you'll come in here you'll make a new folder call it plugins from the plugins folder you'll drag the star uh, the star field achievement enabler asi folder into there you'll hit replace uh, well at least for me i'll hit replace you shouldn't have anything in that folder to begin with um, and yeah that's how you would install that manually now for neutrals you would just manually install <coughs> And if I'm correct, I've already have it installed, but I'll just I'll reinstall it again and we'll save over it. Sure. I'll open it and this is what the folder looks like. You'll see this folder and this. Now to unzip this, I do have this program right here. It's called 7zip. I will link it in the um, description as well. 7zip. This is what I use to unzip 7-zip files. You can unzip uh, normal zip files with Windows, but certain other zip files you're not able to, such as 7-zip. So you see how in data, I went into the data folder and I come out to textures. We'll go into the data, we'll go into textures, and from textures, we'll just drag it and place, it, uh, place the texture in here. Now, because I personally have LUTs already installed, I'll actually go and replace it back in again boop there we go replace yes we'll go ahead and exit out and now whenever I load my game I should be perfectly fine now the achievement enabler only allows you to have achievements enabled for command co um, console commands only as far as actual modified of the game files, from my personal experience, I have not got it to actually give me achievements. Although, who's to say it it doesn't work? There shouldn't. You should get a pop up still that mods are going to be disabled, especially if you have ESP mods. Uh, if you have ESP mods such as this, uh, do, 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 do. let me go ahead and show you here. So I'll go back, I'll go back to data. For instance, my crafting or the ship storage, that are, that are always going to disable the mods no matter what. Or not disable the mods, but disable the achievements no matter what, I'm sorry. Um, besides that, it, yeah, uh, I, I do have crafting installed, even though it's showing that I don't, I do. Now here we are, we're in game, of course, I've already had LUTs installed prior and everything, so I've always had it, but yeah, it shouldn't really just be it. So hopefully this video helped y'all guys, if it did, leave a comment and a like on the video, and I appreciate that, and uh, y'all have a wonderful day.